Good evening, children, and welcome to another amazing episode of Inspiring Young Minds. Today, we're going to do a very interesting uh, session. I'm sure you're all going to have a great time. I'm telling you, uh, this is some uh, art form uh, which, uh, you know, amazed me and, uh, you know, made me feel like, oh my God, how much of creativity can come uh, amidst the things which we can actually see in our day-to-day -day life, right? So today we're going to talk about mosaic art and I'm sure you're going to have a great time uh, listening to this session and uh, let's get started, okay? Okay, so today we are going to talk about inspiring young minds. We are in session 42. And as I told you, today's topic is mosaic art. I'm sure when you look at this picture, uh, you know, it looks so beautiful, right? Look at the various uh, shapes and sizes and how in all its irregularities, still this art looks so beautiful. So let's learn a little more about mosaic art. Here in this picture, you're able to see almost similar regular pieces of stones arranged in a particular order to give you a beautiful design. So a mosaic is an art or a pattern or an image made from small regular or irregular pieces of colored stone, glass or ceramic held in place by plaster, mortar and a covering uh, a surface. So these mosaics are generally done on the floor as a decoration or they are done on the wall as a decoration. And they were particularly popular in the ancient Roman world. Mosaic art is a, a way where you create images, which could be an assemblage of small pieces of colored glass, stone or any other material. And the earliest known examples of mosaics made from different materials were found in the temple building in Mesopotamia. And these are dated to the second half of the third millennium BC. So when you look at these spectacular mosaic art pictures, you can see the depth of the picture, the color, and the beauty at which this art actually is seen. So traditionally, they were made with tiny tiles, either made of terracotta, pieces of glass, ceramics or marbles. And these were inlaid uh, into the, uh, you know, wall or the floor. And once you put all of them together, they were actually glued together and uh, grouting was done so that the interspace between these glasses were covered. And look at the beautiful pattern which you can get out of this, right? So uh, these uh, were done in a lot of places. And an example of such mosaic art is the dragon at the entrance of the Antony Gaudi's Park Wall in Barcelona in Spain. So now you will be able to understand the beauty of these art, right? So here you can see the various colors. I mean, it's red merging into orange and then yellow and then the hues of blue. So there are typically five types of mosaic art. They are the classical art, organic, industrial, artisanal and prefabricated custom inserts. So all of them, they neatly fall into any of these uh, kind of uh, art, right? So as I told you, uh, various other stones can be used Glasses can be used, color glasses can be used, sometimes even metal are used, natural stones, and you would see even semi-precious stones added uh, to give you this kind of a uh, effect. So what are the materials you need? Now, sometimes when you have uh, tiles which are broken, but not completely broken, you can actually break them into smaller, uh, you know, uh, clippers by uh, making uh, use of a uh, nippers. And these nippers are some specialized kind of uh, scissors, but is uh, used to break glasses or tiles. So when you do that, you will get some irregular pieces. But once you try to make a collage of this, it gives you a very beautiful effect. You also can have the trouble, a palette knife, safety goggles, rubber gloves, dust mask, and tresere with adhesive. So these are the things which you can have. 
and you can prep your materials because uh, sometimes these tiles might have some dirt you can clean them off the debris from the mosaic base and the tressery pieces and create your design lay the tressery onto the base apply the adhesive wait for the adhesive to set and then as i told you you apply the grout grout is nothing but a material which goes between these mosaic pieces and then you had a protective sealant over that so the tools are uh, to use these tiles you can use any stuff which you have at home generally what people do is when anybody is constructing buildings next to their houses they go and pick up all those broken tiles which is anyway going as a waste right and you can hammer them but when you hammer them see that you wear proper gloves also proper eyewear and uh, see if you are not any dust allergic then you can wear a mask too and uh, then you can uh, you know pick up these tiles and stick uh, their broken ones and then make them a part of your project piece so these are the traditional categories which uh, includes these art which includes in literature it could be there in pottery and uh, you can see them in entrance gates of uh, a lot of monuments and uh, it gives a kind of a very beautiful look i'm i'm not sure how many of you are able to understand the depth what the color combination creates right so this is included in poetry in drama in story and so on and in visual arts like in painting drawing sculpture etc the graphic arts that is the painting drawing design and any other forms which are expressed on flat surfaces the plastic arts like sculpture and modeling and the decorative art pieces so here you can see mosaic art ultimately becomes a very easy practical way to sustain the level of the heat which is generated inside the room so when you put these mosaic cards it actually cools the place and they are also uh, known for slow energy transmission which means the absorbing energy and the transmitting light especially during the night becomes very uh, you know comfortable and you can create whatever you want so what are the benefits what do i get or what does a child get when they use these mosaic projects so you can see the mosaic uh, projects when you create them it improves the self esteem through empowerment it motivates them you have an ownership that you've done something great and you feel included within a tribe right and sometimes you can do it as a project work and it makes you a very integral part of team work and communication most of the times today you can see these mosaic art in a lot of uh, uh, you know maybe picture frames and glassware so when you actually uh, light a diya and you have these mosaic work outside it gives a beautiful effect onto the entire room you can have even have it in your uh, light bulbs and shades so that you know you have the room lit in beautiful hues you can have it also as curios or as flower flower pots or table tops uh, or anything which can act as an artifact in your house so your activity for today is going to be to make a mosaic art now how can you make a mosaic art i'm going to give you two options one of course you can break the tile and do but i would recommend that only for children above 15 because uh, you might uh, need heavy duty gloves and i want you to be careful with the hammer and until and unless you are very careful i would not want children young children to do that so how else can you do the mosaic art right so i'm going to give you the second option the second option is you draw a painting color them completely and now take a black pen or a gray pen and make small either squares or rectangles very closely to each other and then complete the picture in that particular way and now you will see a complete mosaic art which is drawn so you can do it in circular formats in you know in different patterns and give this art of yours a very beautiful feel so we at inspiring young minds actually work towards the betterment of every child and the adult so that they can have a good mental and physical well being all through their lives
to like, share, subscribe, comment, and press the bell icon. You can go to our YouTube channel, which is the Team Red Rock Stars, Dr. Vidya's Smile Dental Clinic. Thank you so much, children, for your patient listening. Lovely to see Uttra and uh, Arohi there. So I'm sure you would have enjoyed the session as much as we enjoyed uh, sharing it with uh, all of you. And uh, thank you so much. And uh, looking forward to seeing you again next Saturday with another episode. So till then, take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe and have a great weekend. Take care. Bye, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Aruhi. Thank you so much.